الحمد الحمد لله رب العالمين والعاقب عالم المتقين الصلاة والسلام والسلام سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وأصحابه وأصحابه أجمعين أما أما بعد فالله من الشيطان الشيطان الرجيم من الرحمن الرحمن الرحيم فإن مع إن مع العسر يسرا إن مع يسرا صدق صدق الله العظيم صدق صدق رسوله النبي الكريم <تصفيق> Allah once again, again very grateful and thankful to to respected Kamran for for giving us giving us this opportunity to, to speak speak in order, in order us to better to better ourselves and and to be, to become better Muslims to become better communicate communicate with Allah Subhanahu wa Taala with Rasul with Rasul, with Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam through the virtues of this blessed of Shab of Shab Barat. Alhamdulillah, it is not a blessing of a blessing of Hanahu Hanahu wa Taala. Whenever these sort of nights, this the nights Shabe Shabe Barat, Qadr Qadr Ashura, all of these auspicious days and nights of the year that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to us to us, no doubt, no doubt, is a blessing from our Creator in order for us to become better Muslims, in order for us to be. To become closer to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala and the beloved Rasulullahu Taala Taala Alaihi Wasallam. Our intentions should be very clear. This night, this night, we hope, we hope that by the end of the night, we leave in a state, in a state, and we enter it. it. We should aim and to put to put ourselves into a position. We become, we become better than we were when we were night actually actually commenced. And this happens through our intentions, our supplications, and our actions. As as the du'as of du'as of others on behalf of ourselves, all of this can help for us to become better believers and Muslims. Muslims. And so something to so remember. Remember that as well as make for yourself, which is which is very important, make du'a du'a family members. You should make du'a for the entire ummah of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. All over the world, people are in trouble. People are in a, people are in a state of worry. Muslims are in a state of across all across all the countries of the globe. Ask, ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Taala Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, wa ta'ala alleviates the difficulties that they are they are in, and may Allah Subhanahu wa Taala Taala us us better Muslims as well. Amin. Such a night in which in which Allah Subhanahu wa Taala Taala. He, his mercy, mercy descends to a level where Allah subhanahu wa taala He asks and calls out to us. Okay. Rarely, rarely does this happen. Of course, the of course the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa taala and His door of forgiveness are always open, but with special focus and special attention on this verse of Shabib of Shabib Barat. Allah subhanahu wa taala He calls out to us. And when Allah Subhanahu wa Taala calls out to us, it is our duty, duty to oblige, and it is duty to answer, answer this call of Allah Subhanahu. Wa ta'ala. Allah is saying, anyone, anyone who wants, for, wants forgive, if he asks, then I will forgive him. And this is the mercy of our Creator that he that he is asking us seek forgive, seek forgiveness. He can he can forgive. how helpful and how merciful as the Creator Creator is. Uh, in spite of being a being a sinner, each of us, of us sinning each and every single day, he gives nights like, nights like these to become better Muslims. He, he gives us nights these to these to rectify our states to be, and to become pure in heart, heart and pure actions as actions. So time, time. The mercy of Allah, mercy of Allah subhanahu wa taala. This is the night that you will find the mercy of Allah. So seek it. Search for it. Ask from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, and you will know. Deep. When when Allah is singer, almost guarantee, almost guarantee us, us. If you seek for seek forgiveness night, then I will I will forgive you. Whatever you whatever you seek from me, I will give I will give to you. So our job to ask for ask from Allah. Allah's job is then to fulfill what He has said to us said to us, and that is to forgive us. And that envelope us help us easy as well as well. Inshallah. Every night, every night, Subhanahu Allah Subhanahu wa has pro- has promised that He will give to us. So this, so this is why, as you heard from other other scholars as well, that we certain nawafil nawafil that this night, this night, 
We do not believe it is, and it's important, it's important for me to say this. We do believe that it is sunnah, it is sunnah to pray these namaz. We do not believe it is wajib, nor do it is far, it is far. It is now purely, purely voluntary that we do. We, we, when we six rakats, people are labelers and say, oh, and these guys have taken, taken this to another level where they deem it to be a sunnah. No, we don't, be, we don't believe it is sunnah, we believe it is a nawafil. We pray these six rakats, all intention, all intention that Allah blesses us with a long life, but in His obedience. It's also key, it's also key to be here, in be here, in His obedience. Having a long life, in obedience, there it, you would rather you would rather die than spend your life in disobedience, and you would rather live spending a time and your life obedience of Allah, of Allah, but then. So this is clear to us that we must ask when we ask for a long life. We ask, we ask for Allah Taala to give us a long life. However, with the intention that we long life to worship to worship Subhanahu wa Taala. Secondly, we ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to create any any potential difficulties or afflictions that will be coming to coming here. Coming here. It's been stated that things like sadaqa. Things like namaz, du'a, du'a. if a person does actions, then, then inshallah, any potential problems, afflictions that going, were going to come to him can be removed from the qa's actions, actions. And we also ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for, for an increase in abundance. abundance. No, that, no, that risk sustenance is from, is from Allah. It is, it is, however, we are, however, we are asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for blessings in our sustenance. Again here, we should have the intention and the mindset that we receive an, in an increase in sustenance, increase in our, increase in our blessings, in our risk. Then we will start risk, risk in the way of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. We won't utilize that bless, that extra money we spend on the dun on the dun because this because this will be of no use for us if we send the way of the way of Allah Taala. Then that increase in our risk will be beneficial to ourselves. Subhanahu, subhanahu wa ta'ala has made it clear that ask night for, forg for forgiveness, ask for his mercy, we shall receive. Pray your namaz, pray your Quran, make du make dua, seek is However, the hadith also states that there are certain on this on this night who will be fortune, fortune, they will not they will not receive their, their answers to their supplications from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That even on this blessed and blessed and special night, there are those that will, those that will be deprived of mercy of Allah, mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who are these people? As our brother Kamran was there are there are different types in different ahadith, ahadith of, of Allah of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Some of those I will mention I will mention example example someone who has partners with partners with Allah, someone who commits shirk will never receive the receipt of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa ta uh, is the worst is the worst tire a person a person so 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 someone it is obvious yes he will be deprived of mercy of mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala those who cut that with the with hips this is also a very important in this day and this day and age because we see more than ever before that all all little matter brothers brothers talk to one another one another brothers and sisters fall out should speak to them, speak to their parents. Parents refuse to speak to them. Grand grandparents don't their grandchildren, children. Why? Over matters of things like land, over matters of things like money. People started to fall out with fall out with their members because because of this because they have been engrossed in this dunya, they have cut they have cut off their, their family, their family. Those that cut off their cut off their ties with their family, they they will not receive portion from, portion from Allah even on even on this night. What do we learn from this? This, when it comes to the dunya, let everything go. If it's in relation to the deen, religion, religion, then your ties by all means, by all means. If your if your family member comes out, cut cut off your ties if you need to, but don't do it for the sake of the. Dunya. This is what this is happening more happening more often. Too, that people for the sake of the dunya, for the sake of pounds, pounds, for the sake of a few pieces of land, they are cutting off their ties with their Muslim brothers. Actual family relations are no longer speaking to each other for little, 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 little matters. And what will this, what will this do? It diseases, diseases heart. It will cause friction, cause friction in the family, and above all, deprive from pride from the mercy of Allah Who else? Who else will not receive from the mercy of Allah this night? This night, one of the most, one of the important ones, ones the one who keeps enmity, enmity is Muslim, Muslim brother heart, heart. 
It's a hadith of the Messenger of Allah. You can be a true, a true believer until he does not wish for his brother what is for himself. You can't be a true believer. believer. Your ee not be, not be mukammal, will not be complete. Till do not love for your brother, for your brother what you love for yourself. Everyone loves that their life be stress free. Everyone wishes that they be in a state where they can live in live in peace. If you cannot wish this for your Muslim brothers, the man is not man is not enmity. Has this house? Has this house? His house is worth half a million. My house is worth a hundred. He drive. He a very expensive brand new car, and I am stuck. I'm stuck driving cars for years ago. Years ago. Even these sort again in relation to the to the dunya. The dunya is the evil, the evil that is causing our hearts to plague. And for this we end, end, we have enmity for our Muslim brothers. He's little, he's little. When was the last time we last time we had envy that this must this has this has this much knowledge? I want to compete with him and I want to gain that as well. As well. This Muslim brother hajjud every morning, every morning. I want to be like him and pray to hajjud namaz every morning. When's the last time we had this mentality? When it comes to the dunya, we are looking, looking that, that gadget, to have that new car, to have that big house. But, but when it comes to the don't look at don't look at those who are colors who are coming, learning the deen and deen and spreading the people. The people. We don't look at don't look at sides Quran, be- Quran beautifully and we are, Ya Allah, if only I could recite Quran beautifully, I would say that I died reciting reciting the Quran. This bro- this brother has learned for this long. This long, I wish I could spend my time learning deen. This is ja'iz in Islam. This is permissible because you're not a wish person's quality's quality to come. Up. You, you, you also, you also sort of quality of quality as well. This is permissible in Islam. Islam it becomes jali, becomes jali. It means you. It means you no longer want that person to have that quality, and you want it for yourself. This is this is when it haram, haram. This is when your this is when your heart will become with disease with disease. And once and once this happens to your heart, younger have khushu khushu. You can no longer enjoy your worship in front of Allah, front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When your heart is impure, how expect when you stand in front of Allah, front of Allah for you to pray, you to pray with a clean heart? People, people even on this night who will be deprived from the mercy and the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So dear brothers, it is very important for ourselves that we rid this jealousy that we have inside of us for our Muslim, our Muslim brother. Every single, every single Muslim because at, at the end of the day, as the Quran says, we are all brothers for one another. Pray for them, brothers. You know the one who have for his Muslim brothers. If he in behalf of his Muslim, of his Muslim brother, Allah will in his, in his behalf as well. Because they love. And this is what Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wasallam has taught us. Love your mothers, whether, whether they are poor or whether they are rich. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, when he started his part of Islam, Islam they accepted, accepted Islam first. The primary acceptors of Islam, they were seen to be the weak ones. They were seen to be ones. ones. They were the ones who had no rank in society. In society. They were the ones who stood, stood side by side by, with the messenger, messenger of Islam first time. First. So never look, never look down on your Muslim brothers. Look at them to be your equals. Respect them. Have love for them. Love for them. Love for them. And it is if we do, if we do this that we can rid society and our community of the evil that are present. Are present. Love each and every single Muslim. Of your, of your. Pray for them. For them. Pray for, pray for the Rasulullah sallallahu sallallahu alaihi wasallam. I pray Allah subhanahu wa taala. He he has all has all forgiveness on this night of Shabab Barat. But this is a this is Allah, Allah promises He will. More people hands that were on the goats of the tribe of the tribe of Banu. Can any can anyone count of hairs on the goats of the goats of Banu? Oh, oh. Oh. Allah say this is like this is like oh. that that in this manner Allah is us uh, that He that He will forgive limitless people. He will forgive so many so many people that there is no that that one can say. So whether this is a this is a promise. Allah, then seek the mercy and the forgiveness of Allah. May Allah subhanahu wa taala. Forgive the sins of all of, of all of us. May Allah forgive the Ummah of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. May Allah have the Ummah of the Ummah of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. On this blessed night, night, Amin. Wa ma'ayna illa al-balaghul mubin.